Hello guys, Exonical here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix the CPU fan error when first booting up your computer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and end this video. Alright, so there is a few things I need to state out before this tutorial starts. First off, now this error will occur if your CPU fan is not plugged into the correct header on your motherboard. So make sure it's plugged into the CPU fan header, not just some random header on your motherboard. So make sure you go ahead and check that. Secondly, this will also occur if you're using a liquid cooler. Now I have a liquid cooler, so that's why it occurred for me. So make sure you go ahead and check those two things. And let's go ahead and start this tutorial. Alright, so make sure your computer is off and then turn it back on. Now, do not click anything on your keyboard at all. Do not go into the BIOS or anything just yet. Um, just wait for the CPU fan air just to pop up. And it will take a few seconds for it to do so. Alright, now it's popped up, and it will list all your specs and everything there, and it says CPU fan error, press F1 to run setup, which is your BIOS. Now click F1 on your keyboard, and it'll bring you to your BIOS. Now most BIOSes are different unless you have an ROG motherboard, and more if you don't, it's going to look different, so just try to follow along. If you need any help, I could help you out in the comments section, so make sure you go ahead and go to monitor. Go to fan speed control, or actually fan speed monitor, and then make sure you go ahead and click NA and click ignore. And then you should be good to go. Just go ahead and click exit and then click save. Now, this will ignore the fact that you do not have a CPU fan actually in your computer because it's not going to detect it. Now, your computer should boot up just fine. Now, it more than likely will uh, say prepare an automatic repair. Do not worry, it's pretty easy to get out of this. Alright, so now after the automatic repair is done, just click restart, and then your computer should boot up normally. And now, if it does boot loop, meaning that it's going to keep doing the automatic repair thing over and over again then that means you'll have to look up for other fixes on YouTube. There's tons of them on YouTube, so go ahead and check them out. Luckily, it did not boot loop for me, so I'm okay. But your computer should boot normally. And as you can see, I've finally booted in, and everything has worked just fine. If you ever have to reset your CMOS battery, then you'll have to do this all over again, which actually does suck. But this should work with all, all liquid coolers as well, so you do not have to worry on the, ma uh, the model either. Just like mine is a generic brand. It's not like Corsair or anything. But, yeah, it should work with all liquid coolers as well, and uh, any CPU fan as well. So, if this video did help you out, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.